This is we pray that prayer and just worry every day about what we're going to eat. Yeah. Where I'm going to sleep. Yeah. How I'm going to pay my bills. Yeah. How I'm going to take care of this. Yeah. How I'm going to do this. Yeah. And asking it. So when the prayer said, give us our daily bread. So we're talking about this white, amen, 2K. And everybody is worried about it and upset and preachers are building a bars and storing up food and worrying about you're going to starve. Hear the Lord telling us, in, amen, on Friday, talking to us and telling us God will take care of you. Trust me. Amen. Amen. I know from experience he has done. Amen. Amen. In the beginning of my minister, ministry in this church, back down in Marina, Mississippi, the pastor had me pastoring three churches. Marina, Mississippi, York, Alabama, and Tombstone, Mississippi. I didn't have no car. Staying in the living in the back of the church. And I got up every Sunday morning, got dressed, and got to hit the street. Worry about how I'm going to get there. You don't worry about him buying your car. So how I'm going to get there? He said, use the one. Thank God, get you from the beginning. Get up and get out there. I just got up and got out of there. It was on my way walking. Some of the saints would come along and pick me up. Got to the other church. If they didn't carry me, they would let me have the car. So you take the car and go on there. If not, they would carry me there. I got there. Wake up many mornings, didn't have a, didn't have a loaf of bread in the house, didn't have anything. Fresh child born. Curtis Jr. Wasn't anything there. We were there. And I got up, like some of these lazy young men now, laying around and loafing around home, sitting around the house. Got a wife and children, and talking about, I ain't got no child. I got up and left, walking. And got down there, and there was a man, a uh, 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 black man there on a stove. And I, was, I stood around there. And sometimes he would be bagging up the grocery. Amen. And I looked at the floor, and the floor, I saw the broom. And I got the broom and started sweeping. Sweep it up. Clean it up. Sit yeah. around there and bag up and bag grocery. Came home for some of the people, the widows in the neighborhood. And that evening, he gave me enough food. Yeah. Just enough food in the bag. Paper bag, and I went home. Yeah. That's what I went home. Yeah. That's what we had to eat. Yeah. And the next day was the same thing. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Tell me about it. he won't give, give you your daily bread. He will. Yeah. And not only your bread for your body, but spiritual bread. Got to trust it. You can't be mumbling, grumbling. He said, with food and raiments, Bill will be content. I had a pair of shoes that I had worn. And, and, and it raised and slow and it got healed. Yeah. And I, I put paste on in the bottom of it. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to always have the states out of it. I agree. I got the, both of them was worn. I put pennies more than the pennies when we got wet. And that's what I preached to you. Yeah. Walk up those slippery hills. Yeah. Oh, yes, many times I'm, when I was telling me we ain't gaining anything in, out here. And, amen. I'm getting tired. Thank you. 
They tell me that I'm not gaining anything. The word says, Godliness. Godliness. With contentment is great gain. Just to have God in you. To have his spirit. To find his favor. For him to send his spirit in your heart. Where you can say, I am a father. He says, you already gave grain, gain. You already gave more than many other men. Many more than many of them were gained in a lifetime. But I say, he says, many will seek to enter in and won't be able. 